Huh. Okay. All right. You can hear. Good afternoon, Bante. Good afternoon. Appa matto ayam bando yayam tagar chandani yo chasila vatan gandho vati deve sukutamu okay i play it again for you to hear so that you can uh, at least hear this sound then we uh, proceed with our regular way. Appa matto ayam gandho yayam tagar chandani yo chasila vatan gandho Vati Deve Sukutamu. Okay. Not, let us see. Uh, let me recite uh, line by line. Then, after that, I recite the whole stanza. Then, we try to learn the meaning. This is very much uh, similar to the previous stanzas. Appamattu ayangandhu Appamattu ayangandhu Yayang tagar chandani Again, up the month. To ayang gandho, apamato ayang gandho, yayang tagar chandani, yayang tagar chandani, yo chesilavatang gandho. Okay, let me recite two lines by two lines. There are four lines. Uh, the first... Uh, I recite the first two lines and make it two lines. Appamattu ayang gandho yayang tagar chandani Appamattu ayang gandho yayang tagar chandani Yoche silavatang gandho Vati Devesu Uttamo Okay. The meaning is pinwheel and sandalwood fragrance are insignificant, but the fragrance of one who has a virtue. Pleasures supreme, supreme amongst the gods. Okay, let us see the meaning of each word. 
Paramatto, one who is inside, inside, in, in, insignificant. For the A is significant. Appamatta means insignificant. A, if there is no word here, A, or Pali word for A. Uh, in Pali, when we say Appamatto, A is implied. Uh, that's the beauty of Pali, but in English, we simply can say insignificant. Appamattva means insignificant. Uh, but uh, in a sentence, we have to use the verb, uh, I am this gando fragrance, ya yang, and this. Sagara Kamdani Pinwheel and Sandal Wood oh, and also there is no word in Pali here but they uh, join together Tagara Kamdana two words combined together and made one word Saga Tagar is pinwheel. Chandana means sandalwood. In English, hadun or sandun. Ya ayang. Yoja. Yoja means one who. Silavatam has virtue. Vati flutters. Devesu amongst the gods, Uttamo Supreme. That means the pinwheel and sandalwood fragrance are insignificant compared to the virtue of one who observes, lives a virtuous life. The, the virtue of that person, one who is is virtuous, his virtue is much greater than the, the fragrance of the one who, whose virtue is greater than all these things. But the fragrance of one who has virtue, that is supreme of God. That means virtuous person, virtue, is uh, more fragrant than all these other fragrance. That's the meaning. So, I uh, like to give the story long, very long story, but uh, uh, I want to give the summary of the st story. Venerable Mahakasapa, Mahakasapa is the one who uh, is respected by many, many Arahants. Because Mahakasapa observed a special 13 special uh, austere practices, such as living in forest all his life and living on only arms food and uh, wearing only three robes and uh, sitting in one place and finishing his meal and never get up and get another second service. Uh, and so forth, he would observe many rules. And also he was uh, respected by the Buddha, although he was a Buddha's disciple, the Buddha exchanged his very coarse robe with Mahakasapa's soft robe. 
the very soft fabric is this rope was originally made but it one day when the Mahakasapa uh, spread his uh, upper robe, folded into four and put spread on the floor for the Buddha to sit. When Buddha sat on that and Buddha said to Kasapa, your robe is very soft, very made in very made made of very soft material. Then when the Mahakasapa said that is yours, now you accept it. And gave me your coarse robe. So the Buddha gave his coarse robe, rough robe, made of coarse material, gave to Vendamal Mahakasapa, Mahakasapa gave his soft robe to the Buddha. So this is the only incident that the Buddha and uh, Sari Mahakasapa, I mean Buddha and his disciples traded the, exchanged their robes. Such was Mahakasapa. Many, many stories are there of Mahakasapa. Uh, so, this Mahakasapa was very virtuous. So one day he practiced what is called Nirodha Samapatti. Nirodha Samapatti means attainment of cessation of feeling and perception. One who attains the attainment of feeling, uh, the cessation of feeling and perception, that person can stay in that situation for seven days. During that seven days, he will not die. During that seven days, he will not feel anything around him. Even if somebody set fire, that fire will not burn him. That's, it's it's a, such a powerful attainment. Only uh, Arahant can attain that state. <coughs> or uh, anybody about Anagami can attain that state. So he attained that state and stayed in that state for seven days. After seven days, he, he got up. Uh, during these seven days, he did not eat, he did not drink, he did not sleep. He was sitting and meditating like a rock. So when he uh, got out of it, a uh, king of gods wanted to uh, offer him food. Then, uh, King of God thought if he went with his uh, names, Buddha would recognize, Mahakasya would recognize and would not accept his food. Because Mahakasya, as soon as he came out of Nirodha Samapati, or attainment of cessation of perception and feeling, he wanted to go to a poor, rush person. Because if somebody offers food, arms to him at that time, that moment, would get greatest merits of giving dana to him. So he wanted to give this benefit to the poorest person. So Sakra disguised himself as a poorest person and came and offered the Pindapada. Then it was so unusually tasty, Venerable Mahakasapa said, this cannot be the food of human, worldly food. This must be divine food. And he said to Ma Sakka, who appeared as the poorest person, 
Venerable Mahakasyapa reprimanded him. You are Sakra, you cheated me, and you disguised as a poor person and offered this food. Then uh, Sakra, king of God, felt, said, Venerable Sir, I am also poor. Then Mahakasyapa said, you are not poor, you are king of gods. You cannot be poor. I want to help a poorest human being. Then he said, well, sir, uh, still I need marriage and so forth. He begged and would, uh, Mahakasapa uh, forgave him. <coughs> and uh, uh, then uh, the Buddha uh, noticed this. And when Buddha, it came to Buddha's attention, Buddha uttered this stanza. So that is the very brief uh, story. Why Sakra wanted to give, give dana to Venerable Mahakasapa? He was observing all moral principles. He was virtuous. The, there was not a one single uh, fall in him in his entire monastic life. So, because he was an Arang, and in addition to that, he observed additional precepts to set examples to the future generation. Uh, I think in the uh, now it is not time to tell all this. Uh, later on, when we have time, we can go through Venerable Mahakasapa's life uh, some other time. But for this story, for this lesson, this may be enough of him. Is the, uh, so let us go through the words, and then I want you to recite, and then we end this session at do meditation. I like you to hear the sansa once again, recited by this young monk whose voice is very, very beautiful. Appamato ayam bandho yayam tagar chandani Yo chasila vatan gandho vati deve su utmutamu. Okay. Uh, now let us try again, and then I want you to recite so that. Uh, you may at least remember, at least would be able to recite these words and these beautiful Pali words. I recite line, line by line and then one whole, the whole stanza. Then I like, I ask you to recite. You just repeat after me line by line. Up to ayam gandho apamato ayam gandho yayam tagara chandani yayam tagara chandani yoja silavatam gandho Vati Devesu Uttamo Vati Devesu Uttamo Appramattu Ayangandu Yayang Tagara Chandani Appramattu Ayangandu Yaya, 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 Yaya,
वाति देवेशु उत्तमो योच्चसील वतनंदो वाति देवेशु उत्तमो ओके आई लाइक यू टू रिसाइड आई थिंक फर्स्ट इज तहसा अपमतो आयंगंतो यायं थकर चांतनी योच सीलवंत गंतो वाति देवसु उत्तम गुड देन जेवनी अपमतो आयंगंतो यायं थकर चांतनी अपमतोयंगगर चंदनी योचसील गंदो वाति देवेशु उत्तमो गुड वेरी गुड अनुजी अपमतो अयम गंदो यायम तगर चंदनी योचसील वतम गंदो वाति देवेशु tamo okay nimmi ano ah yen appa matto aryam gando yayam tagar chandani yocha silavatam gando vati deve suttamo okay uh i think this young man is son this son in the library okay up my to yes yeah your name is bhakti ji we can do it <laughs> okay you do it apamato ajangando jayam taga nachandani चंदनी योचसील वतंगंदो वाति देवे सुपुत्रो वेरी गुड चंदिमा अपमतो यदम गंदो यायम तगर चंदनी योचसील वतम गंदो वेरी गुड महेली तो आयम गंदो यायम तगरन शदानी यो छत सील वंतम गंदो वाति देवसु उत्तम ओके 
いいねろよくあっぱまそうあらんだねやらんたがらちゃんだねどうちゃすみらがたんだんどわきでるすうたんだどれあーあのでいるさいたんいるさいたんばんてオーケーねっつうぞオーケー I think all of you recited very good. And、uh, I think today、uh, we don't have, to have time to go to another stanza.、Uh, I think this may be enough、uh, because we have little time to meditate. That is at least 30 minutes.、Uh, that's good. Uh, meditation also is very important. We all sit and meditate. I mentioned、uh, the meditation discourse, what you call the chanting.、Uh, so we try to. Uh, you spend some time in meditation. Okay? You can see. <coughs> read that. Okay. Can you see this? Yes, Bante.、Huh? Yes, we can see it, Bante. Okay, then let us read and let me get rid of this one. Okay. May all beings be happy and secure. May all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, long, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds. <laughs> Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness, above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment. Whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here. Not falling into erroneous views, but virtuous and endowed with vision. Removing desire for sensual pleasures, one comes near again to birth in the womb. Okay, with this, we practice. Meditation for short time.、Uh, I mentioned last week, this morning, that when we sit to meditate, we sit in a straight, upright, relaxed position. And then keeping our hands on our laps, we <clears throat> Focus our mind on the breath and take deep inhaling and breathe out all the air in your lungs. That means deep exhaling until all the air in your lungs 
come out. And then next time when you breathe, you will get lung full of oxygen. During the time you breathe very, breathe out very slowly, carbon dioxide also build up, then dilate to arteries and veins. And then blood flow will, flow will be very smooth. That way you get lot of oxygen and charge every cell in your body with oxygen. And you feel very calm, relaxed and peaceful. You won't fall sleepy. You will remain alert. You gain concentration quickly. And all other defilements like hindrances, greed, anger, restlessness, worry, sleepiness and drowsiness, or doubts and all this vanish. The mind gains concentration very easily. So try to follow these instructions and you can sit like this at least for 20 minutes without any problem. I ring the bell after that and if you want to continue your practice, you continue even after I rang the bell. Okay, I stop talking. And you practice, do this practice.
Prime Minister of this meritorious deed. May I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain it, Barnard. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings ascend in these realms with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Okay. Sadu sadu sadu. Sadu sadu sadu. Sadu You all continue your meditation, Dhamma practice. And I want to wish all those who are suffering in hospitals, taken care of by very compassionate doctors, nurses, and hospital staff. May they recover very quickly and practice Dhamma, practice meditation and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. May all the doctors who take care of these people sacrifice in their comfort, risking their own health. Sometimes day and night they take care of these patients. May they also find time to practice meditation and attain liberation from all sufferings in samsara. And all those who have lost their loved ones, may they find time to understand Dhamma, to overcome their grief and practice meditation and attain liberation from samsara suffering. May all those who are in troubled spots like war zones, poverty stricken area, discriminations, and so forth, may they find time to peace, understand the nature of life, nature of greed, hatred, and delusion, and try to practice meditation so that they will be able to overcome their samsaric suffering. May all others whose categories I have not mentioned, living all over the universe in ten directions, and may they all find peace, happiness, and liberation from samsaric suffering. May all be well, happy, and peaceful. And I see you next Sunday. Some of you See some Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> and then we all practice Dhamma. Okay. Thank you, Bonte. Everyone, Sarana. You can see our new uh, gilded Buddha statue, and they are recently plated gold. Very generous person came and gilded all these go statues at Bhavana. Primarily the main statues in the meditation hall and all other about 50 little, little, small, small uh, statues and dining hall statue. All of them have gold color, real gold, 24 karat gold. You can see that. So please. I we could I could see that I noticed this burning one day. It was the Buddha's chest was a little bit high like that. I know something is going on. Maybe some light is put too much and stuff yeah. like that. But now I realize that uh, that twenty four karat gold has been put. <laughs> yes. Thank you, yes. Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu. Kante. We are happy to hear that. Very good. Huh? Okay. See you later. See you, Bante. Bante. Okay. Yeah, wish you well, Bante.